Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do an exciting video, at least exciting for me. This is going to be my first foundation review and I'm going to start my first review. And that foundation is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. They just launched it, I think during the quarantine. I ordered it during the Sephora Spring Sale. But the delivery took a lot of time, you know, given everything that's going on around the world. But anyway, I'm going to do a first impressions today and a wear test and review. Wear test for more than 10 hours. I have a long day today. I need to get to my nursing aid training class. It's apparently an essential business or something. So they're still open. We are trying to follow social distancing, but the class is still going on. The time is around 7.20 right now. So let's start. This is how the packaging looks like. Let's get this bad boy out of the box. Here we go. So the packaging looks fine, not like too impressed or I do not hate it either. I think it's like a regular squeezy tube, at least it's something better than just dipping your fingers in there. I like low coverage foundation, that's, I prefer low coverage foundations. If they look better on skin for everyday use and I hope this will work. This They claim to be true to skin, natural glow. So let's see what happens and I have the shade 6. I guess the cap is supposed to give you an idea of what your shade will look like. Well, let's see. S to start off with, my skin is... I have like dry skin. It's In summers, it's a little okay, but in winters, it gets really dry. Now we are in summer, so it's not that dry, but it still leans towards dry skin type. Oh my god, look at this. How big is this? And I do have some spots around here. And there is slight redness um, right around here. Sorry, I have my mirror and my viewfinder on this side. So I keep looking this way. Don't mind that, but yeah. Let's see if this covers all of those blemishes that I'm going on right now, especially this one. I'm going to take some on the back of my hand. I have already applied my moisturizer and um, I used the Too Faced form this way, hangover primer. I can't find it right now. But yeah, I already prepped my face. Let's see if this foundation oxidizes. So I'll have one swatch on my hand and I will see how it looks later, like a comparison. The shade looks fine on my hand, but we'll see. It melted into my skin, but it definitely has a heavy olive undertone here. This is the swatch. Let's see how it looks on my face. I'm going to take some of my blemish. I'm really excited because I, like I said, I love natural foundations. I think it looks a little too olive on my skin, but I think we can still work that, we'll work it out after blending it. Oh, let's see. It blends really well. no problem at all in blending so this is one layer I still have some product in my hand but this is one layer I think it really looks good don't you think and it did cover this blemish here of course there is some pigmentation still peeking through but that looks pretty good let me look up close. I like to look, look at my foundations like really up close. I know nobody else will look at my skin like this close. But I like looking at it and that's how I tell if anything is like 
breaking apart are you okay does not look patchy at all looks pretty good there's like some natural like luminosity to it but it's not emphasizing anything like my pores not that i have a huge pore problem i don't think so at least but there are some like small small texture around here and this is not particularly emphasizing it but i still have some left and i'm trying to build it up on this this one let's see i'm not going to use a concealer today at least not on my blemishes or anything and these i'll put some under my eyes but not anywhere else but look at this the spots are concealed like it did a pretty good job it's definitely no coverage but it's enough coverage for me let's see and also i like use dab motions i don't sweep it like i don't sweep the brush so that also helps with coverage i think that's why i do that that's why it seems like i got a lot of coverage out of it because i'm just dabbing my brush i don't know if you can tell but it is coming out really olive on my face like but i think i can work with that hopefully <laughs> okay so this is whole it's not there. Right now, I'm really liking how it's looking on my skin. It looks really pretty. It looks very pretty. I think I'm not gonna build up the foundation coverage anymore. Not any more than this. I mean, if you keep building up, there's like the purpose of it's it's getting compromised. But I will apply some concealer under my eyes. So I usually sometimes if it's like a foundation with more coverage i would apply that around my under my eyes too a little but i don't want to do that with this yeah i will apply my concealer and get back To set my under eyes and some parts of my face, I'm going to use the Shiseido Synchro Skin Loose Powder in Radiant Finish. The packaging actually looks cute and all that, but there is this net thing right here. Oh, it's bright, sorry, you can't see, but there's a net thing here, and you need to, like, you know, push it again push your brush or your sponge against it and then it slightly dissipates powder out of there and it's annoying because you cannot get a lot of it outside I'm so tempted to like make a teeny hole in this net I did not do it yet but I might end up doing that anyway so I'll have to press it against this like that mm. And just slightly, I'm going to apply this under my eyes. I think I can have to look at the brush and tell if there's anything there. Or, or apply some under my eyes. I'm also going to set sides of my nose, my forehead, and my mouth area just slightly. I know this is, or else it's gonna like does not look good for me. It is definitely a luminous kind of finish and this powder it's because it's a radiant powder it does not take away the luminosity but also just sets the makeup in place and I want to just set a tiny bit in place because I'm going to be in public in my class and I don't want to look like I'm not my makeup is not done properly. I usually sometimes set my smile lines um, you cannot see them right now but I usually set my smile lines and I don't want to do that today I mean of course I lightly applied some powder there but I don't want to completely set it or bake it because I want to see how the foundation performs around my smile lines 
and yes so next I'm going to just slightly apply some mascara straighten out my eyebrows and I'll be right back Alright, I'm back. I have my mascara and my lipstick. I used the Maybelline Superstay Lip Crayon and Total Temptation Mascara. So, this is my final look. I know I do not have a lot of makeup, but isn't this the most natural, natural makeup look? Am I right or am I right? Look at this, I really like this. And the foundation looks really good. I mean, it's not breaking apart anywhere on my skin and my pores are not like, they're not like blurred, blurred, but they're, it's not emphasizing, which a lot of foundations do. It's, and it looks pretty hydrating. Let me see like if it's still, it still feels tacky and it is transferring on my hands a little bit but for that I would maybe apply a little more powder than I did but I really like this and I'm not one who would usually touch my face and of course if I hug or you know get closer to people it might transfer onto them but we're social distancing right now <laughs> I know it sounds like I am making praises for this foundation, but I'm just totally being in reality, like, you know, some of these are avoidable. Anyway, so I'll be back with more check-ins towards the day, and I'll show you how this foundation looks. Right now, I need to get ready really quick and get to my training class. So I'll see you guys, I'll put some shots in here as check-ins during my training class like when I'm on break and then I'll come back to you in like six hours and eight hours and more than 10 hours wear test okay and I also want to quickly show you this is the swatch that I applied in the beginning of the video now I'll show you a new swatch really quick and let's see if the foundation is oxidizing or not so um, this looks of course this looks much fresh and this one looks a little more set but it does look a little different and I think there is a teeny bit oxidization or I wouldn't say it's oxidization I wouldn't I don't know if I should say it is oxidizing I think this one looks a little more set than this one, but there's definitely some tone difference here. So keep that in mind when you're picking up your shade. All right then, I'll see you guys soon on my next check-in, but so far I really like the foundation's finish, but let's see if it's long wearing or not. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Okay, so I'm back again. I just got back home from the training institute and it's about 2 p.m. That's like six and a half hours since I've applied this foundation. And overall, definitely looking uh, a little like oily and shiny, like especially around here just and everywhere else it looks fine i'll zoom you guys in very soon but other than that i think it held on well 
on my acne spot here. Of course, it, to start with, it never really covered it completely and I also did not try to with a concealer because I think it, it defeats the whole purpose of the foundation testing. I mean, I would do that if it was like a regular day and today I wasn't feeling like covering it, so I did not. I told you this already. But yeah, overall it, it's looking fine. I could have done without the shininess, but I have dry skin and still the shininess came through. But remember, I used the Too Faced primer, which is pretty hydrating. And also the moisturizer I used before the primer is also a good hydrating one. So this is, this is what usually happens. And if it's not happening, I usually feel really tight underneath. And I don't feel tight. My skin doesn't feel like super dry or anything. I usually feel that around my mouth. By this point, like in six and a half hours, I usually feel that, but I do not. And it has settled down in my fine, uh, like barely there's my lines. Just a teeny bit, not super noticeable. But if I look really closely, like in a mirror, I can see, like if I look really closely. I did not do any touch-ups or anything, like powder or nothing. Of course, I applied my lipstick uh, during the day at some point. Yeah, so let me zoom you guys in first. Let's see. <laughs> I zoomed you up, but... Ooh, I keep doing that. Anyway, okay. It's more shiny because I'm sitting right in front of a window. But I also wanted you guys to see how it actually looks in in the daylight. This is how my forehead's looking. It did not break up or like cling to any patches or anything. Uh, that could also be because of the primer underneath. But it's not like settling in any pores or you know like sometimes you can see foundations are like sitting in like tiny tiny dots and like on your in your pores and this is my mouth area as if you can see like slightly tell just a teeny bit if I come like really close up or else I cannot tell and it was and it played really well because a lot of foundations settle down there especially dewy foundations and my Dior forever glow one this like immediately settles into the lines and this has not done that and yeah everything else looks it has not worn off or anything anywhere and this is how it looks i think it's a little the redness is peeking through more than it was in the morning i think that's a little change there but Overall, it's looking pretty good, I think. And I want to touch it up with the brush on the greasy areas and just see. The brush doesn't have any product or anything or powder or anything. I just want to like tap, tap it with my brush and see what happens, okay? Let's see. Okay. That took away the shininess. It looks a little more satin matte right now, like how it was in the morning when I first applied it. Sometimes when I do this, like try to set it with my brush, uh, foundations end up again. As I'm pressing it, the foundation ends up getting settled into my pores. I do not think I have big pores, but I don't know. Um, but it, they still do it. So, and this is, I don't think this is doing that. This looks pretty good, actually. Right now we are at six and a half hours. Okay then. I need to run some more errands. It's a little hot outside today. Well, not hot, hot. 
I think it's around 72 degrees. So there's still a long way to go. I'll come back to you guys again before the end of the night at the 10 hour mark. Okay, bye. Hello, back with the final check-in for the day. It is 6 p.m. right now, and that makes it like 10 and a half hours of me wearing this foundation today. I just got it from my nap, like a small nap, of course. My small naps usually tend to go into a bigger nap on, a, on the weekends, but today I tried to get up wake up on time to film the final check-in. Anyway, I'm here. What do you guys think? I still kind of look like, um, oily, I think that window lighting is making this area, some of the areas again, like in the morning, it's making me look a little shiny. But, I do look a little shiny, like almost similar to what I looked in the previous um, check-in. So it has not worn off anywhere. And even if it wears off, it probably will look, still look smooth and normal because it's a low coverage foundation and it's, it's not gonna look like a huge difference from this part on this side, on the spot beside it. It's not gonna look too different. I remember I wore sunglasses and you saw in my previous check-in and the check-in my second check-in for the day once I got back from the training before that I, had, I wore sunglasses too and I forgot to mention but I didn't get I did not I did not get like you know the marks that you usually get here that's so great right I mean like all the foundations so far definitely did that and i think sometimes the oils on the face like on the nose area also contribute to that but still they always usually do that and i don't i didn't like powder my nose that much or anything so it, i was thinking that it would do it but it did not it, i don't know why i'm <laughs> getting excited that it did not but i'm actually excited that it did not do that on my nose <laughs> again really minute like teeny very not so noticeable like i said in the camera or even in person from a distance like this but if i go really close with my mirror i can then see the line here but other than that it still looks good Everything looks fine and even when I go like a closer up, I don't see I don't see it breaking apart. Of course it doesn't look as fresh as it looked when I first applied it. Obviously you should not forget that it has been ten and a half hours. I think it can still go. If I was like um, going out tonight or something, I would wash my face. I would just apply a powder or something like that and just go out i'm not gonna change anything about my face i actually like that my eyes are coming through and i look like like a regular face looks like right in real life too even without makeup my face might look like this would would look like this like some luminosity is always there because of the skincare you use and other products you use and that's why it's getting reflected in the foundation too. I don't know, actually, I like it. But I do agree, I need to like admit that I feel a teeny bit like tightness in my, like when I'm doing this or you know, like 
I can feel tightness in my forehead and somewhere on here. Of course, my I think my skincare is probably also the effectiveness. The hydration of the skincare underneath is probably also going out. So that is probably also a thing. And it could be the foundation too. Uh, I'm not sure because it's like it can foundations do that, tend to do that towards the end of the day and make your skin feel a little dry. And this is how I'm feeling. As soon as I got up, I felt like, hmm, my skin feels a little weirdly tight. That did not happen during my previous check-ins. I didn't feel particularly tight, like there was no dryness that I could feel. But yeah, overall, I think it's pretty good. I'll zoom you guys in uh, for you to look at it more closely. So, <laughs> definitely a little more redness coming through. Uh, about 10.5 hours. Looking good. Finally, I really like this foundation. If it's if it's not clear yet, but I can understand some people not liking this one because of the price. It might not seem worth it because it's low coverage, not worth it for forty dollars in Sephora. But I think their target customer. <laughs> but I think their target customer is somebody like me. I like true. I. I like foundations that are supposed to be or that say that they look true to skin and they have low coverage. So that's why I do like it and it stays properly well on my skin. Of course there is some oiliness towards the end of the day and some there is glow happening. But I do like the glow and I also I would tend I would probably tweet, make some changes to how I use this. I might apply a little more powder or I might not use a hydrating primer underneath if if it's a hot day like today so far I like it better than the skin glow foundation because this is definitely this is much I feel like this is much more dewy finish and at the end of the day just clings into my smile lines and looks patchy breaks upon the skin and the Armani foundation did not do that, but the price can be less. I actually bought this during the Sephora Spring Sale, and I and I think I paid like thirty-six dollars or something for this. And I think, <laughs> and I think thirty-six dollars is not bad for a Sephora brand foundation. But you can find foundations that can work. Similarly, in a drugstore foundation like in Maybelline and L'Oreal, and the new CoverGirl found CoverGirl foundation is also pretty good and similar to this. So it's a little subjective. Your choices. If you like a full coverage, a medium to full coverage foundation that is like a matte finish and does not move or budge, then this is probably not you. And not like this moves a lot and budges and makes. And looks weird at the end of the day but it is definitely not for somebody who wants medium to full coverage this can be considered a tinted moisturizer but it is the right amount of coverage for me so I am their target customer for this for sure not like I have good skin or anything it's, that's not what I'm saying but that's what I look for in a foundation and the claims that it says, like it's true to skin, natural glow foundation. So it is, in my case, in my mind, it's definitely living up to its uh, claims. If you have oily skin, combination skin, I would definitely suggest using a mattifying primer or using a little more powder. You don't want to do any of those things, you might not like it. But you have dry skin or too very dry skin this will look good on you for sure but i would also suggest having a good skincare underneath because you might feel dry i mean your skin might feel dry towards the end of the day but it's not too much actually i don't feel like oh my god 
it doesn't feel like oh my god it hurts or I need to take this off of my face and refresh my skincare it doesn't feel like that I can go like this for another couple of hours for sure so overall this I like it and I think I'll keep it and maybe repurchase it again and <laughs> Sephora as sale probably and I don't know but I will repurchase it this is my first foundation review on my channel so please bear with me and I try to do more um, makeup reviews in the future when I like and I'll try to do more makeup reviews in the future so I'll see you guys soon and if you have stayed till the end of this video why don't you just subscribe just saying but I would really appreciate if you can subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys next in my next video